trying to exchange our exchange orders for uh, JR passes. Uh, we're at Osaka station right now. You can either do it at the JR Osaka station, um, which is here, but there's a huge queue. Um, so we're going to go to Nippon Travel Agency, which is just around the corner to exchange them. The Nippon Travel Agency, where you can uh, exchange your exchange orders for JR passes, is just around the corner here. Nippon Travel Agency, so just in here, and as you can see, the the queues a lot shorter. note that some JR trains are reservations only so you have to reserve a seat before boarding we just reserved anyway because we had time but we were lucky because I think that this train that we're taking to Kikatsura requires seat reservations so as you can see here where where we've reserved uh, carriage number three We've just checked in uh, into our accommodation for the next two nights called Waikumano and uh, it's literally just opposite the train station so very easy to get to. Uh, it's a hostel but it's fine. So we've reached the viewpoint of the shrine on uh, Binton Island. Stumbled upon a Nissan Silvia. This is my very first car, and uh, just stumbled upon it in uh, Kikatsura. It's got the T37 wheels as well. Beautiful. Found dinner tonight. We're having fresh tuna because Kikatsura is famous for its fresh tuna. First dinner in Kikatsura. We got some sort of like bento boxes.
It's Nachi Falls Day and we're waiting for the bus. We stopped off at Family Mart. What have you got there? Another surprise, egg. surprise. I think I'm addicted to these. Yeah. They're so creamy. But... Nice. I got a black coffee. So the bus to Nachi Falls is number 31. Um, next one's at 9.05. This is the bus. So the way the bus works to Nachi Falls is uh, as you enter the rear doors of the bus, you take a ticket and it's got a number on it. Um, that number corresponds to the bus stop that you got on at. So when you get off the bus, you can look at the screen at the front of the bus, uh, look for your number and underneath that number will tell you uh, what you need to pay. Um, so for us, we got off at uh, bus stop number one, which is the first bus stop along the route. Um, so we looked at the corresponding number one on the screen and underneath that was the price. In our case, it was 430 yen because we got off at Diamond Zaka station, our bus stop. The Japanese have thought of it all. There was an old man uh, cracking bamboo sticks so that you can take one um, for the hike. Yeah, this is it. This is the start of it. So Nachi Falls is part of the Kumano Kodo area, which is like, uh, I'm not sure if it's UNESCO, but it's like a uh, protected like national park or something like that. What people do, they do like a pilgrimage. So they do a huge walk, like a multi-day walk. And I believe it starts at Ki Tanabe, which is a few JR station stops before Ki Katsura. Because I noticed um, a lot of foreigners get off at Ki Tanabe and um, they had, all, had on all their hiking gear. You go on this pilgrimage, and you just stop at different um, guest houses along the way. And then uh, you finish at uh, Nachi Falls. So Nachi Falls is the end, end point. So I think we've made it to Nachi San, which is the uh, last bus stop and uh, there's more steps so uh, yeah just make note of that when you're thinking about what to wear and considering the weather and all that sort of stuff there is a lot of steps We've made it to Nachi Falls. You can see the waterfall in the background over there and then you've got the three-story pagoda. Yeah, that's the iconic Nachi Falls view.
We're just on the way to uh, check out the waterfall, Nachi Falls. So it turns out the waterfall is actually not as close to the pagoda as we thought. So we had to walk a bit down to get to the entrance here, indicated by the shrine or gate, Tori Gate. And if you just want to see the waterfall, there's actually a bus stop right there. It's, so it's the second last bus stop on the route. base of Nachi Falls. This area is free but if you want to get closer to the base uh, you have to pay 300 yen to go a little bit further. It takes two minutes and there's a platform up there where you can view the waterfall a bit better but I think this, this area is fine. Just waiting for the bus, but Vinny bought me an ice cream. This flavor is Sakura Mochi. Ooh, we got a yaki soba. Instant noodles. Yum. And then we put in this chicken. Boneless chicken piece. Yum. And this is awesome. Matcha latte. Yeah. Boss brand. So good. This is the next thing we're sharing. So it's a bacon and mushroom Japanese pasta. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. Really? Mm, it's pretty good. Huh. I mm. didn't have high hopes for it. I mm. thought it looked a bit dry, but it was actually, there's like some sauce at the base of it. No, it's pretty good. Up. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is our dessert of choice. We got the souffle pudding. Wow. Can you believe it? It was only 2.97 yen. See how soft it is. Oh my god! It's like butter. We've just arrived at Kushimoto. Mai and I just decided to go to this random town um, because there wasn't much else to do in Kikatsura. So we just decided, we've got a JR pass anyway, might as well make use of it. And we're just at the gateway and we noticed that there's a Turkish sign there. And I've just Google translated it and it says Turkish friendly town. So if you're Turkish, you're welcome here in Kushimoto. Beautiful. So we've traveled all this way to Kushimoto to eat here and the restaurant's closed today. Open. We're super, super happy about that. And we're just um, trying to order at the moment. It's a very cute little restaurant. They've got these private rooms where you need to take off your shoes. We're just at the bar. So this is the bluefin tuna sashimi. Um, I think it's a good one because it costs 1,800 yen. So 
Uh, the town's renowned for tuna as well, so I'm expecting this to be amazing. <laughs> Wow. Good try.